cloudy today. What's going on guys? How's it going? Mark Freeman here. I'm back at it. I'm back down here. The skid steer is back running again. We got some freshy, brand new pre-owned tracks. So anyways, yeah, it's been a few years since I was able to groom the track. Last year I, uh, I groomed it with the, the dozer, but then, you know, a couple weeks later, as soon as the grass starts growing, this crap grows fast. So it's nice to have the skid steer. Get her all nice and groomed. I've just been working away here, getting everything done. I'm gonna add in a side-by-side -side slash car lane, so we'll be able to run the track with cars and not go over the jumps, because obviously, you know, if you go over that with a car, you're either gonna ruin yourself or ruin the jump, jump probably both, so. Yeah, I just wanted to add everything in, you know, just have a really good year, so. You know, we do 365 videos a year, well, 380, I think, actually, because right now I'm posting two videos every Tuesday, Toby Tuesday, and then along with another one. So getting the job done, boys and girls, getting the job done. You know, if you're gonna get the work done, you gotta get it done. Just get outside, do it. Don't be lazy, just go out and crush it. Make things happen. So, I, uh, what time is it? It's 11, almost 11.11 11 now, actually. I uh, went to Woodstock this morning. I sold some stuff off the Gigi. I'm just trying to clean out my garage and stuff and get rid of stuff, you know, it's time. Time to clean things up. So anyways, I'm gonna clip of this for probably about three hours. Try and get all these jumps groomed and uh, start heading to the back section. I'm gonna shave off the whips a little. They're, they're too big and too long. So you, like, you could probably double them if you hit them at warp speed. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shave them down so you can just kind of like, you know, third gear wide open hit them. So the whips change every year. They, they grow and shrink and it's crazy how much berms move too. Like half these berms, I pushed five feet forward because every year they move back, right? Every time you hit them, the dirt flies back. So, anyways, I'm gonna rip this thing for a while, and then Brian's gonna bring my truck down around like two or three with the trailer. I'm gonna load up that minivan back there, take that back to the scrapyard. I don't think it's supposed to rain again today. I wish we were riding though, because this dirt is fancy, like. It's that tacky ass stuff, that real nice dirt that you don't get too often. It's usually super dry or super muddy. So yeah, let's grip it and rip it here. I'll uh, do some updates along the way as I'm you know, getting things done. I'll do a little time lapse. Then we'll run to the scrapyard, take that van back, and I think we're going fishing tonight. So got to practice up. Got a big tournament this week, and I believe we're in the French River up north. So if any of you guys are up there, that's where we'll be. But uh, yeah, let's get back out of here. Struggle City. Looks like we blew a hose, boys. Well, that's no good. Fuck. Just getting covered in hydraulic fluid. Yum. I'm trying to make it back, but I don't know how far I can make it here. I was doing so well. So well. Got the tracks fixed and everything, and then she blew a hose somewhere in here. That's where it's all flying out, as you can see. It is just covered, and I got covered. Oh well, the perks of working with big machinery. Anyways, I made some good progress. I kind of just back dragged everything. That's all you can really do for now, and back drag it, and then let the weeds die, and then you know next week come out again and just redo everything. So that's looking good. Corners are looking good. I made it way down there, and then of course at the very end of the track, the hose blew. So. Anyways, brought her back. Brian's gonna bring the trailer down. We're gonna load her up, take her up to the barn, and then hopefully get it fixed. And then we're gonna bring the trailer back down and we'll uh, hopefully get that minivan loaded up too. So, I thought it was Brian. And like, that doesn't look like my truck. A little red car in the back. All right, let's get her loaded up. Did something come up and hit her at all? She's just leaking out. No, nothing came up and hit her. I think it's just getting old. And Corroded, full of crap in there, you know. She's leaking. Get up. What are you doing, bud? Give her a quick wash, got all that fluid off there. Time to load a car. Well, back here, down here again. Kind of sucks about the skid steer, but I guess it could have been worse. It's just a hose, so those are easily replaceable. 
Oh, I'm out of breath. I just took those ramps out. The one's kind of like tight in there, so you really got to fight it. Anyways, yeah, we got a bit of rain this morning. The old free star, it's time to go. We never got to jump this one, unfortunately. There was talk of pushing it off the jump, but I don't know. I just want to get rid of it, whatever. I got lots of other cars coming. We got the Durango, the Pontiac, that Saturn at the front. They might have one at the scrapyard today too for me to take, so let's load this thing up, get rid of it. We had a bit of fun in it, but uh, yeah, she's time to go. Brad was doing backwards donuts. I told him to do it and then this tire, the rod snapped. So as you can see, both tires are facing in. So we're probably gonna have to load it on backwards, I'm guessing. She was a good van. Stole the airbag out of it too. Did we take the airbag? Oh no, we didn't take the airbag. We tried to. Couldn't figure it out. Couldn't get her out of there. Oh well. Old Brian's here. We'll get her loaded up. Get her on the truck and get back to the scrapyard. Back to her rightful home. We gotta start jumping cars again. It's been a week or two. So once I get the skid steer fixed, I'll get this groomed up again and then we can start launching it. The old freestyle. The freestyle. Let's load her up. <laughs> old man. That's the steer wherever. We should take these tires off. Save them for another another uh, road vehicle. Doesn't help that we put the whoops right here. <laughs> Always a struggle. Almost ready. Yep. Hopefully she goes on the trailer nice. I do like this trailer, but I wish I would have got the fold down ramps. These ramps go underneath, so they're a little trickier. Sliding all over the place. It's coming though. <laughs> yeah, kind of hanging off the side. Oh, we're on the fender a little bit. That's good. Don't bend those. All loaded up, strapped on, ready to go. Let's go to the scrapyard and get rid of this piece of crap. Get rid of it. All right. Get rid of this thing. We'll wreck the trailer. <laughs> Should have got some glass on it. Back to the house. The sun is trying to peek through. Truck got a little dirty. Not not really, but it uh, did get some hydraulic oil on it. So, anyways, we got the trailer dropped off. No new cars from the scrapyard, but we still do have the three cars down there. So probably Jay and I or Brad and I are gonna rip them later this week, and then we pick up the new toy. So that should be exciting. Lots of videos on it. Anyways, I forgot to close the gate at the track, so I'm gonna run down there. We'll rip uh, I'll rip the Saturn with the other packets sitting way over there. I'm gonna move it where the other cars are, just over there. Keep them all together. Keep them knocked and all together, so I'm gonna do a few donuts or burnout in that, and then I can't talk. A few burnouts or donuts in it, and so on. And then, yeah, 
Give the truck a wash and then Blaker should be here. We're gonna go for a fish later. Hopefully we can catch something. I haven't fished in a while and I haven't caught anything in a while either. So I gotta get practice up. We got a uh, fishing mission this weekend, big fishing tournament up in the French River. So should be a good time. Anyways, let's uh, let's head down back down to the track. Look at this dirt. We should be riding tonight, but nah. Go fishing instead. We rode last night, but uh, whew. every time I see dirt like this, it's just gets me all excited inside. All right, the old Saturn, the weapon, the weapon of choice. Will she start? Look at that. Someone had a little dinger. Oh, it's open. Oh, yeah, it's still open. All right, let's try and fire this thing up. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's turned a lot better than it did the other day, that's for sure. This is how you warm up a Saturn. This is how you warm up any old car. Just get her smoking. I feel like the muffler fell off. Oh, there she goes. Attempt number two. <laughs> now it's not going to want to start. Come on, car! Come on, girl. Do it for me. Let's go. And we're back. I definitely just held the key on for like three, four minutes and it finally, it finally fired up. All right, let's take her for a spin. Yeah, the fleet is definitely growing. We got some tires in there. I think uh, sometime this week, I'm gonna completely roast those front tires off right to the rim. Just get rid of them. Maybe swap some tires and then throw another set on and roast those too. We'll see how the car holds up, but I think a uh, longest burnout ever video is, is due. That's for sure. Anyways, the wind's starting to pick up. I'm gonna head up to the house now. We'll get that truck wash, get that hydraulic oil off, and then we'll go for a fish. Sun's trying, she's trying up there. Oh yeah. Let's rock out. Doobie, doobie. You being a good boy? Hey, you being a good boy? You being a good boy. Doobie Tuesday is your day. Good boy. Oh, let's watch this thing.
this clean. Back to how it should be. Anyways, now I'm just gonna wait for Blake. I haven't heard from him until about 4.30, but uh, should be over in a bit, and then we'll head down the river, see if we can get some fish caught. Beauty day for it. At least it's not raining anymore. I can't believe it was pouring this morning. Nice and dry out now. Good to go. All right, enough messing around, breaking stuff all day. It's fishing time. Woo! Fishing freshies. If you guys want to follow this guy on YouTube, his link is below. If you're a hardcore fisherman, follow this guy. He's we got fishing. a Shimano, uh, Shimano baitcaster, rod and reel. Is that your next contest? That's my next contest for a thousand subscribers. Ooh, so subscribe to him and you might win something. All right, we're gonna go defend our territory down the river and see if we can catch something. What's in season right now? Pike and pickerel? Pike and pickerel. You mean a walleye? Walleye. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, that. I don't know. You know, all those folks mm -hmm. that get all uptight about it. <laughs> Just beauty down here right now. Ooh, grass is green. Everything's turning green again. We're gonna get on it. You're gonna get on it? You're gonna get on it. We're gonna get on it. There's an old snowmobile in the river over there, if you can see it. That thing is old, old, old. A lot of stuff floats down this river in the winter. A lot of stuff. All right, let's fire up these GoPros and see what we can catch. Maybe nothing, maybe something. You never know. You never know. We're on and he hit it hard. He's fighting. What do we got? Ah, little pickerel eye. He, he wanted that thing. Ugh. Jeez, I haven't caught a fish in a while. He's got a lot of spots on him. Oh yeah, some good teeth. Probably not gonna jam my finger in there. Come on, here we go. And oh, boom. Nice looking fish. Hey, someone had to set the pace, eh, Blaker? Someone had to. Alright, now you gotta follow. Something's gonna happen. Look at this guy, hey? Not too bad. Alright, on to the next one. So we weren't having a ton of luck down there. I got that one pickerel there, or the walleye, or whatever you want to call it today. Lake's double fist in here, but he hasn't caught anything yet. For the first time, I think I'm ahead of ya. <laughs> Days and there's bad days <laughs> but it's always a good day when you're fishing so. yeah, exactly so we've been seeing some fish pop up around here so see what we can grab pull out another day another cast there's a lot of grass in here a lot of seaweed not much luck though after that first fish beautiful night though beauty night Not too bad at all. Just a beauty evening. Beauty evening. Ooh, a little bit chilly though. Yeah. A little chilly though. Oh, it's still sniffles. spring. Yeah, here we get ready to sniffles before the weekend. Yeah, I'm excited for the weekend. Uh, well, we caught one. We caught one. Team effort. Ooh. Team effort. So head back up to the house. Oh, just caught. Just caught one. Oh, got yourself. Well, that's gonna be a doozy. Oh, you're supposed to take your lures out before. Oh, it was nice and easy. There you go. All right, nice sweaters while you go fishing. Up the hill and off to ignite. Now that is my kind of sky. Should've been riding tonight. Look at that dirt down there. It's like a little chunk of heaven just waiting for us. Oh well, I wanted to get some fishing in tonight, so we got that done. Caught one fish. So, anyways, make sure you follow this guy on YouTube. <laughs> fishing freshies. Woo! I'll put his link down below if you want to check it out. Uh, we got lots going on this week. We burnt some tires completely off a car. We're picking up the new toy. I've been making room in the garage for it. So she's coming. A couple more days and I'll pick her up. So uh, yeah, check out the links below. Make sure you hit up the merch store. Check that stuff out. We got like 40 designs now, I think. All different styles, sizes, even 5XL. I kind of want to order a 5XL just to see how big it is. Maybe turn it into a banner or something. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys later.